Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A team of researchers that included a number of high school students has developed a new method of visualizing neurons that could eventually lead to new and improved therapies for brain injuries and neurological disorders. Faculty members at the School of Science at Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis, along with high school students from Indianapolis, conducted a study using computer image processing to visualize actual neurons in the brain of a fruit fly. Two weeks in a row I'm talking about neurological breakthroughs that were achieved thanks to studying fruit fly brains. Thanks, little guys. This study was just the first step in a project with the eventual goal of reconstructing an entire human nervous system, which could lead to new insights into, and hopefully more effective treatments for, spinal cord injuries, brain injuries, and neurological disorders like schizophrenia and Alzheimer's disease. Next up, researchers at the University of Surrey have embarked on a project that, when completed, will enable members of the public to take a virtual ride into space. The project, called Virtual Ride to Space, aims to create an original, high-definition, virtual reality experience simulating an ascent from Earth's surface to space. The researchers plan to lift an array of 24 HD video cameras to an altitude of 20 kilometers, that's about 12 and a half miles, using a weather balloon. That footage will then be used to create a virtual reality simulation of the ascent that can be viewed using the Oculus Rift head-mounted display. The researchers also intend to create versions of the program that can be viewed on a smartphone or a computer for those of us who don't have access to an Oculus Rift. When it's finished, the virtual ride to space is estimated to cost consumers around 40 pounds. That's a bit less than $70 US. But first, they need to raise 30,000 pounds to pay for the weather balloon and the creation of the VR simulation. There's a link to the project's Kickstarter page in the description box of this video if you'd like to know more. Finally, scientists in Switzerland have constructed a prototype for what's being called the world's first programmable material. The prototype, developed by researchers at MPA and ETH Zurich, is a thin strip of aluminum with a series of small aluminum cylinders attached. Between the strip and the cylinders are piezo disks, which change thickness when electronically stimulated. These modifications transform the strip into what's called an adaptive phononic crystal. Unlike traditional materials, the vibration properties of which are relatively static, the adaptive phononic crystal can be tuned to muffle or conduct vibrations at particular frequencies. It's a metamaterial with the potential to revolutionize manufacturing and mechanical engineering. A team of college professors and high school students in Indiana develop a new way of visualizing brain function. Researchers in England are building a virtual reality ride to space that will be as close to the real thing as you can get for 40 pounds. And scientists in Switzerland invent a revolutionary new metamaterial with tunable vibration properties. That's the good news. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs>